Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video we have a powerful new update for select Samsung Galaxy smartphones, which is going to take your photography to the next level. So let's dive in and get started and see what is going on. So this new update pertains to an application that was just recently exclusive to the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. It is known as the Expert Raw application, which is going to be right here. Now, before I dive in and give you all the details to download this application, all you want to do is you want to click the link down below. It's going to take you to my website. Once you're at the website, you want to scroll down just a little bit. Under download, you want to click this link. Once you click the link, it'll take you to the Galaxy Store from where you can download the Expert Raw application. This is by Samsung. So it is official. So if you tap the thumbnails, it even gives you some details here as to what you can do. Okay, shoot and edit like a pro, creative controls, best in class zoom, and a bunch of other things I'm gonna show you guys. And real quick, here's the phones, the select phones that are gonna be getting this very soon. So right now it is available on the S21, S22, but very soon it is gonna also extend to the Fold 3, the S22 Ultra, the Galaxy Note 2, and the Galaxy Z Fold 2. But right now, it's going to be S21 and S22, but I'm going to show you how it works so you are ready when it comes to you. So when you launch the Expert RAW application, basically it is a camera interface. You have access to all your lenses, ultra-wide, wide, telephoto, and super telephoto, and you actually get manual control over all these applications. When I say manual control, it means you can control the ISO manually, you can control the speed of the shutter manually, you can even control the focus manually, and of course the white balance and the overall exposure. So you get full manual control, you do get a histogram on the top, and when you take a photo with the expert raw application, it gets saved as a raw file instead of a JPEG file. Now I have one right here that I just took a couple of minutes ago uh, outside. So if I click on this, on this guy, you can see this is what you're gonna see. You get to see how big it is. You can see that it is a raw file and you have other data at the bottom here. So what's the point of a raw file? A raw file is an unprocessed image file that has so much information inside it that when you edit this, underneath a software, you can create some brilliant detail. So with the app, you get a link to the Lightroom software. So you can actually download Lightroom from Play Store as well. So when you click this, it'll take that raw photo, it's gonna put it into the Lightroom application, that's Adobe Lightroom. And then from there, let me go to my all photos here. I can tap on that raw photo, and I'm able to get some really deep manual control, okay? So I can do all these things at the bottom. For example, if I wanna make this photo a little bit brighter, I can tap on light, okay? Look at, I have the exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, so I can bring up the highlights a little bit, make that sky more brighter. I can drop the shadows, you know, make those trees a little bit more obscure if I wanna focus here, or if I want to focus on the trees, I can increase the shadows. Now this is more visible, the trees, and maybe I can reduce the highlights on the sky so more of the focus goes towards the trees. I mean, that's just scratching the surface. You can do so much more. Uh, you have things like this at the bottom. You have things like the uh, presets or profiles. I can tap on profiles. And look, you have all these various options. Adobe Landscape, okay? These profiles can get you the perfect photo. And it's only possible with a raw image if you want to retain a lot of control. So I'm gonna let you guys play with that. You're gonna have to download the Adobe Lightroom software. So if I go to my Play Store here, let me see, Play Store, uh, Adobe Lightroom, all right. You might already have this pre-installed on the Samsung, but if you don't, just install this. And again, once you install this, you take a photo with the Expert Raw application, camera application, then you click on the photo, then you click on LR, the Lightroom. It takes you to Lightroom where you can make some extended, extended editing on the photo. And after you've done editing your photo and you wanna actually share it or save it to your device, 
Make sure you tap on this button uh, right here, the share button, and you can save the device or share with a friend or share on social media. That's the point. You edit the photo, make it look the way you want it, and then you share or save for future use. Once you do save it to device, I wanna let you know what happens. When you tap on save to device, it's gonna export that photo as a JPEG, so now it's usable for everybody. And then when you go into your gallery, okay, and you go to your albums, you're gonna see Adobe Lightroom. So anything you export gets saved right here, just so you know. And all the expert raw photos get saved in the expert raw album. Now I'm gonna tell you one more thing just to be safe. So some people are saying, what's the difference between this and the pro mode on the camera? So if I launch the camera and if I go into pro mode, you can see we have similar controls here, okay? So I can actually change the ISO, I can change the speed, and if I go to the settings in the pro mode of my regular camera application, okay, I can also save photos as raw copies. But there is a difference. The raw photos you get from your base camera application and the raw photos you get from the expert raw are in fact different Expert Raw is much better. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna to go to my gallery here, okay? Now here's a raw image I took with the regular camera application. Let's see how big this file is. I'm gonna pull this up. That's a 23 megabyte raw file with the regular camera application. What I did was I went to my camera, okay? And I was in the camera section. I went to more, I went to pro, and I took a photo. So that gave me a raw photo. This one right here, that is 23 megabytes. Now, the raw photo that I took with the expert raw camera application is right next to it, okay? It is right here. It says raw on the top. When I pull this up, you can see this is 29 megabytes. So that means it simply has more detail saved into the photo so when you make the edits, it gets to retain more detail. Now I wanna show you one more thing real quick just so you guys have an idea of what's going on here. I may make a full tutorial on this, but I'm gonna give you an overall idea. So here's just a regular photo. That's just a JPEG photo. It is already pre-processed and it's ready to be shared. But again, if you take a raw photo, it might look a little bit more flat and boring, but that's by design because these guys, the raw photos, that you capture with the Expert RAW are designed so you can edit them and enhance them to your liking, all right? So one more time, you launch the Expert RAW, okay? First you get the camera application. You can tweak the settings or just keep them automatic. If you pull this to the side, you have this button, you can tap on it that resets everything to automatic, and then you take a photo. Once you take the photo, you tap on that photo, you can browse through the photos, and then you can tap on LR, and then that takes you to Adobe Lightroom, and then from here, you can edit and enhance. So if I go to profiles, like I said, you know, I have all these options, okay? Let's see, artistic four, look at this. This is not possible with a JPEG, and I can also increase the intensity or reduce the intensity of that particular photo uh, effect, uh, profile, I mean, okay? So you have all these profiles, and also, like I said, when you go to light and you play with the exposure, okay, uh, and you play with the contrast, highlights, shadows, you just get more detail. As you make the changes here, you still retain a lot of detail on the actual photo. So that's basically all there is to it. So this brand new application is now available for the S21 and also coming soon to the other phones I mentioned. If you want, you can go to the website, try to download it on your phone to see if it's available. If not, it'll be coming soon for the phones that I mentioned. All right, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.